Welcome back to another video. This is V and you're watching Buzzing with V. Let's get into this. I have so much inventory to share with you. This is a new release coming out March 1st. So it'll be available then. These are some sneak peeks of what's going to be on the website March 1st. So let's go ahead and get on into it. You will not be able to see the actual die just yet. However, I want to go over exactly what these dies are with you and you can get a feel of what Scrap Diva Designs has available. Uh, let me share the link with you. And again, let me get my book here. So this one is an old one. I really need to ask for a new one of these, but um, yeah, ScrapDivaDesigns.com. Here is the website here. I will have all the links listed below as well as a discount code for you. If I inspire you at all throughout all of my videos, uh, please use my discount code. It's V10%, that's V-E-E-1-0 -E and the percent sign. And hopefully I can keep this video. It's not a voiceover, this is me. This is actually me. <laughs> so I'm going on a whim here with this. So <sighs> bear with me. Okay, so let's get situated here and see what I can share with you really quick. And let's go ahead and do the Easter ribbon slider first. That one's this one here. It has a die. You can't see the die just yet. Let's see if I shake it. And no, so of course it comes with the die. However, what I meant to say is it also comes with a stamp so uh, you could die cut whatever you like to die cut and then stamp it and so um, it is called the Easter ribbon slider so you'll definitely have some sort of ribbon attached to it so let's go ahead and get into the next one the next one is the circle flowers this one I did um, die cut I was going to use it let me get that out for you and I did die cut two. So this is what that looks like here in blue. I also did a hmm, purple. So here is the purple. So that's what this die is gonna look like. And it is such a cute one for embellishments and layering. That one is a cute one, guys. Okay, the next one is called Butterfly Bag Topper. This one you've probably already seen. I've seen some sneak peeks already shown, so hopefully I can get this out in this video so you can see as well my take on that. The next one is the Jam Jar, you guys. Come on. Bees. I see bees all over this Jam Jar, even though it's not a honey jar. But oh my god, that one's going to be amazing. Okay, so where are my other ones? There, there they are, okay. The next one is a 3D Easter basket. We all love Easter baskets and to send Happy Mail and anything we can get our hands on. A mate, this one's gonna be a good one for swapping. Well, they're all good for swapping, but I'm gonna share with you what I would use in the case of me swapping. I miss swaps so much, you guys. Um, okay, so the next one is the bunny bows, you guys, come on. We have we had a reindeer bow, we have to have a bunny bow as well. So these are it right there. You can kindly, kind of see the bunny ears right here. And then here is the bow. So you get two different sizes in this one. Definitely will be used and it will be a staple for Easter. Next one is the Bunny Doily Memory Decks. This one you can kind of see as well, so here it is. You get the doily, you get the bunny feet, you get bunny ears, you get a sentiment that says Happy Easter, and there's nothing on the back, so I could share this here. Here are all of the links if you need to check this out and see for yourself all of the amazing inspiration that you can get from all of the talented designers. And uh, yeah, so this is just one size of the bunny ears and bunny feet and you get the base as well. 
Next one is the Easter Bunny mini album. We have a Valentine's one as well. So this one says Easter and it's a mini album. So each letter will have, will be a page. So that's how that works. So, um, yeah. So if you're really into Easter, you need to get that for mini album making. Uh, the next one is a 3D castle. I think this one is going to be a hit. Um, I don't know. 3D, you guys, anything 3D and boxy. And this is a castle, so definitely can be used for a lot of things. Um, of course, swapping with your swap partners. But any type of princess theme or birthday. Come on. A birthday sending this out to a birthday as a gift come on now so definitely gonna be a big one here um, I see this one selling out uh, the next one are loaded pocket a medium and a large so they're sold separately let's see here this one on my left is the large this one is the medium on my right you do get a heart you get hearts with them and you also get the pocket that goes right in front I did make a smaller version of these and I posted on my Instagram and I'm soon going to do a video. So you can see what these are kind of look, looking like, but these are large. So definitely can put swaps, your swap in there, all of your embellishments. So the next one I missed and this one is called the Easter Bunny. You guys, this one is going to be an amazing one to have. You can make these into so much, even a mini album. This would look good as a mini album. Um, it doesn't say mini album on the on the title. However, I see mini album here. I see so much here, loaded everything. <laughs> okay, this one is going to be a staple as well. This one is a suitcase shadow box, but come on. This could be more than just the shadow box. I see a box as well. I see a mini album. I even see a notebook. Come on now, you guys. Let's get those juices flowing and get your mojo going for these. Yeah, so I see a box. So you definitely get the front, the back. You'll also get some extra pieces like a banner and an airplane um, it looks like you get a sentiment there I'm not sure what it says but you also get a sentiment let's open this I can't share the backs um, however we'll look and see what this is um... okay guys here are the projects that I made with the recent dies that I just shared with you so I went ahead and made the bag topper, butterf the butterfly bag topper. Here it is, right here. You can make it spring, you can make it glam. You can also make it vintage. It's such a cute butterfly. I went ahead and did spring like with bright colors using the Cool Girl Collection by Pebbles. Here's the smaller version. So you do get two sizes. And I just love how they turned out um, very colorful right now. I'm into color, so who knows tomorrow it might change. So the next one I went ahead and made was the bunny ears bow. These are bunny bows and they come in two sizes as well. Here they are. I used the flat backs from Hobby Lobby and I use the, uh, what is that called? Like um, cording, cording, what is it? What is this knotting cord I use knotting cord for the whiskers and it just gives it a bit of color there you know, with the mother of pearl color and I love the flat back the flat back I haven't used those flat backs from Hobby Lobby in quite a while so I was I was happy to use them and I did some layering and some stitching as well so they're super sturdy and thick I went ahead and made them very um, sturdy. So those are it there. And I wanna share with you the suitcase shadow box. I am, it's currently in progress and here it is. Um, nothing has been glued down yet. I'm still working on what it's gonna look like. So as you can see, 
we have all of the pieces here that I'm working with and I still have to sew and glue this on as well as the window so here's the window it will be a shadow box I so wanted to make a suitcase box but um, I also wanted to share with you how it was originally made and how it would turn out originally I still need to add the sides so as far as the sides you are gonna you some of you might get an extra die if you do um it is a good box die that you can use an extra die just put it in your stash when you're ready to make a box you can use it so uh, you will be getting two of those you can even use it here so however you'd like so originally um i'm, I'm supposed to use this piece on the top which is this one here right here uh, you use them on the sides put them on both sides but I did the top and I did two sides like this and I cut the excess off I just wanted the seam to be on the sides instead of the middle so however you'd like to make it make it your own and so um, just real quick I layered up my pieces because it is a shadow box you want some dimension going on here so all I'm doing is I'm adding the pieces in like this and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the layout yet so here is a floral piece that I will add in the corner here I also put some dimension on it those are some foam pieces for Michaels and then I cut up some other fussy cutting pieces that I will be layering like this one will go inside right here in the corner and I will glue it on the sides in the inside there and this one will probably go in the back somewhere or possibly on the side on the top so you guys so much to do with that one and I also want to share with you um, the other pieces that I still need to use so here is the belt I'm supposed to put the belt right there and you also get some flags if you want to put flags you could put them on the side there so I just want to share with you the possibilities really quick this will probably shown either um, when this video goes up or the next the following day I'm gonna work on it as fast as possible and stitch my little heart out <laughs> over here and I also add some either sequins or some glitter balls some of those gold glittery balls that we get in Christmas but yeah, so much to do with this one. This one is my favorite. Um, I definitely wanted to make it into a box again because uh, it's so cool. I love boxes, but a shadow box it is, and uh, stay tuned. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have fun crafting.